Hello and welcome back to Planet Zoo. We are here in my recreation of the Antwerp Zoo. But in today's episode we will not be doing any speed build or time lapse or any building of that matter. Uh, because this is another video where I will add animals to my zoo. And more specifically, modded animals. Well, except for one which I will talk about later. But um, if you haven't seen my earlier video where I added some modded animals into the Antwerp Zoo, I won't go into detail about them. But basically, the uh, American Flamingo by Leaf Productions. Uh, I'll put a link below where you can download that one. They are here. Uh, I still have some uh, greater flamingos because. Wait. Yeah, it's pregnant, so I can't sell it off, which is a stupid game mechanic. Um, and then, of course, we also have the Red Forest Diker. This tiny little antelope here, which I made myself. Um, it has no name, apparently. I <laughs> uh, don't know what's wrong there. Let me... I have two in here. Where's the other one? shouldn't be called unknown. But yeah, uh, Leaf Productions actually updated that one for 1.6. So I'll have to check why they are called unknown. I'll fix that after my episode. But yeah, you can find a link uh, in the description down below as well for them. Um, so yeah, the American Flamingo and the Red, uh, Red Forest Tiger. But in today's episode, we will be adding some uh, birds because there's been a lot of bird mods uh, on Next Mods lately. And I'm, by lately, I mean like last couple of months because I've been out for a while. But we will be adding two, in fact. Um, I still need to change this because this isn't as it is right now in the Android Zoo. But the first one that I'll add is the uh, Great Curacao. Great Curacao. Jesus, I can't type. Um, made by Bongo Hardwood. So I've already talked about him in my last video. Um, but if you haven't checked out his channel, please do so. I will try to remember putting a link down in the description, uh, both to his YouTube channel and to the uh, mod page for the Great Curacao. Now, Antwerp Zoo doesn't have a Great Curacao as far as I can remember. I think they're yellow knobbed Curacao, but they look similarly enough that I'll just add them in this little enclosure here. I uh, don't think they have to go very far. Yeah, it's already here. So I think uh, Bongo, uh, well in voice chat, he said to me that this was one of his mods where he still did the wings he's not too happy about that actually put on a flashlight and that his uh, other mods or his future bird mods uh, wouldn't uh, include wings anymore I think it's fine uh, a bird is a bird in my opinion you don't have that many in the game and it's just so cool to have them like especially like for indoor bird buildings such as this one it's like perfect for uh, this little curacao. Yeah, I think they look so alike, the yellow knobbed uh, curacao and the green curacao. Let me actually check <laughs> if they're actually a different species because I'm not too sure if they even are a different species. Yeah, they are. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, they are a different species. Like, Great curacao is a Crack Surubra and a yellow knobbed one is uh, a Cracks Daubentoni. Yeah. So they are different, but they look so uh, similar that you won't even, or the, the like average person going to the zoo wouldn't even notice the difference. So that's the first one. For the second one, we are actually inside the. Uh, bird palace here. We have our like little American styled uh, enclosure here. Actually added in a door here. Um, I'll do the like 
I'll do this entire area where we do this to be more accurate, including like a, a way for people to get in, like an actual way because this is now just a blank wall. But uh, that's enough talking. Uh, what is this? It's thirsty. I don't care. The next one is the California quail. So Antwerp Zoo has these uh, in this exact location. California quails. There's a couple of other like American and Mexican birds or whatever uh, in the same uh, enclosure but these are the only uh, ones that were made for the, that the Antwerp Zoo has. These were made by Ron Mayron, which is a name I do not uh, recognize, so that's someone new. Um, I haven't heard from them, or I haven't seen any messages from them in the uh, modding Discord, so I don't know if they're still active. We are very excited uh, that we actually are getting more birds and stuff, because while I do like the idea of birds in like uh, scenery, mod packs because we have those as well I think Nick made one uh, for Macaws I'm not too sure though uh, but we have we have a couple of those click the animal come on click the animal there we go let's see if they can actually move around yep okay they don't really have that much area to move around in but for me. Might have to move a little for this rock a, a bit lower. Let's see if they are able to go there now. Yeah no it's it's probably not going to be able to go here. But that's our second bird in the birdhouse here. And I am sure that there will be more to come. In fact, um, I might give a modding a try again and um, try to fill all, all these other exhibits. Because we have, like, a, I think this is a South American themed uh, habitat, and of course, we do have what is it? This is actually still filled. I, yeah, there's still cockroaches in here, right? But don't see any of them. Oh, there is one. Yeah, there's cockroaches in here, but that was just to attract visitors to this building. And then there's this, which might be like a Congo or African jungle like the uh, uh, little exhibit. But yeah, we, we are going to fill these. And we do have now the California quail again, uh, I'll put in a link in the description. Now, birds aside, there's still one animal that I like to add. Uh, of course, um, at the moment of recording, all the bear mods are broken because they are based on the sun bear, which got a little update to its, what was it, walking or something, which means they are currently broken. Which means I do not have Narwhaler's spectacle bear in here. But that is not why I'm here. Why I'm here is let's go into our little grey seal habitat here. Let's select all of these. Release them to the wild. Uh, I actually, it might be faster just to sell them instead of doing a separate release to the wild. But I don't know. Like, in my, mind, uh, in my mind, it's like, if I can release them to the wild, it's always like better for my karma, right? Anyways, enough shit talking. Another Californian spe uh, species, but um, this time it's the California sea lion. I will only add females, because I think they only have females. I'll add four. Um, Let's send these to the zoo. Yeah, so it's interesting, uh, or I'm interested to see like where the area will fit in, like the, the traversable area, because of course deep diving got an update, and I do hope like see the 
the uh, California sea lions are a bit more mobile, mobile compared to the green, uh, gray seals because their traversable area was like not too big at all. Are they coming from that one? No, I think they're coming from the one who spoiled too much over there. But I think they are coming from the trade center over there or something. Yeah, I don't want to spoil too much of the elephant uh, or enclosure. Asian elephant. Okay, now we just play the waiting game. Ah, uh, there's one. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's see how these look. Of course, these were added by the North American Animal Pack. And all the way, I can talk. <laughs> all the way back in my first auto um, video, it looks like the diversible area is really similar to that of the seals. Yeah, all the way in my first video where I added mods, I said I would try to make a California sea lion myself. Yeah, that never happened. Let's see, do these deep dive or do they just swim? Does they change the deep dive requirements? Okay, at least they go a bit deeper compared to the seals if they, if they are just swimming like that. But yeah, it looks like right now they're just swimming and not really deep diving. Which is unfortunate. Now, um, there's been a lot of talk on the forums for like to chat forums but also like Dutch forums uh, to discuss zoos about this little area because might have talked about it before but like COVID and, and money issues mean basically means that they cannot uh, do uh, this renovation as I have done it according to their master plan and uh, they are removing the California sea lines or they may already have been removed. Um, don't know that one uh, because I haven't really read the forums that thoroughly. But uh, there's been some discussion or speculation, I should say, about what is going to replace this. Now, first thing to note is this roof is going to stay like covered, so it's not going to be uh, an open roof like I have it here. I think apparently that has to do with like um, the protected status of the building because it was built to commemorate the uh, anniversary of the zoo. Uh, it's a protected historical building and they can't like do anything what they want. Like imagine this giant hole. Um, if, if that wasn't already there in some states, like they probably wouldn't be able to do this. Like it's the same with, let's say, this building or something. Like they cannot get demolish this entire wall to the, to replace it with something else or something like. Or, or over here they cannot like remove this entire facade to change it with something else. No, they have to like adhere to certain rules and stuff. Same with the, uh, with this building. Uh, so they won't be able to really renovate it in the way they set it out in the master plan. But of course specu uh, speculation now is talking about how this could become like an interior uh, like rainforest um, exhibit type thing which uh, which sounds really exciting like uh, they were talking about an interior rainforest uh, exhibit with manatees and like tropical fish swimming in here. Uh, these that's the, the, that were some of the things that were talked about, uh, which sounds all really amazing. But <laughs> now here's my question to the audience, to you guys: Do you guys want to? Uh, do you want me to try and turn this into like a, a tropical interior uh, habitat with maybe manatees, tropical fish, maybe something else? Just purely a speculation, of course, because there are no concrete plans yet and uh, of course with the monetary issues they are having um, they are only set to start construction again in 2022 uh, 
Um, but I think it would be like a great exercise to try and come up with something for this. Um, because like that, it won't mean like I uh, I can still use the California sea lion because there's plenty of like there's another habitat in the Antwerp Zoo where the Garif uh, California sea lions were uh, or may currently still be housed. Uh, it's actually like quite a, a nice habitat with a waterfall and, and stuff like that. So I could just simply put them there uh, if I wanted to have something with manatees here. And then the grey seal or what is it they have, the harbour seal, I'm not too sure. The in, in like uh, their arctic building with the penguins and stuff like that. So uh, I'm not going to have to remove any am animals uh, if I do this speculation type of build. But I think it'll be interesting, so let me know your opinion. I think it'd be better, like a bit better looking than what, what we have here. Because uh, this was like one of my first builds and you can definitely see like the difference between this building and then something like the bird building or monkey building, which is really uh, probably one of my favorites in terms of accuracy and like how it turned out. Uh, along, prob along, probably along with the Egyptian temple. Ha! Huh, I placed trees. You can't see what I did here, but the view or the visitors can. That's the elephants. That's that right there. But yeah, um, let me know what what your opinion is uh, about the. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> oh, I'm dying. Uh, Sorry about the aquaform. Should we do like some speculation type of uh, thing here with manatees and maybe some tropical fish, or should I just leave it like it is? Um, now, one thing I also want to correct from my previous video, I talked about uh, which animals from the North American Animal Pack I will be able to use in my recreation of the Antwerp Zoo. Well, turns out, like besides the California sea lion, which is glitching through some rocks right there. Um, and of course the beaver which may be turned into a koi pool uh, mod later on. Um, the Antwerp Zoo actually also has American alligators which I completely forgot and they actually have them in like one of their main attractions in the uh, reptile house. They have like this uh, ambient sound with rain and thunder. It's really something like even if you ask like older people in Belgium, uh, they'll know what you're talking about because it's something that sticks in their memory. Like uh, uh, it's one of the main attractions or one of the main things the Antwerp Zoo is, is known about. Uh, besides their dark corridor, which is unfortunately going to be removed. Uh, oh yeah, that needs to be added to the zoo. Yeah, I know what they're talking. But I'm not going to do that right now. Anyways, I have been talking for way too much in this video. Uh, check out any of the mods in the description down below. Uh, check out any channels I may, may have put down below in the video description. And I hope you'll enjoy the North American Animal Pack. And I hope I see you in the next episode. Bye bye!